Tonight, the number of inmate overdoses at the Maricopa County Jail continuing to grow. Just one month after seven inmates were treated in a single incident, you can now add five more to that list. That is where we start this Sunday night here on 12 News at 10 o'clock. Welcome in, everyone. I'm Jonathan McCall. Rachel has the night off. Tonight, 12 News has learned that multiple inmates were rushed to the hospital for suspected overdoses this weekend. Team 12's Chase Go Lightly live with us tonight with how those inmates are doing and the plan from the sheriff's office to try to crack down on this problem, and it is indeed a problem, Chase. Jonathan, that's right. I'm told all five inmates are now back in MCSO custody recovering. However, this is far from the only situation like this in county jails. Five inmates are suspected of overdosing at the Maricopa County Towers Jail facility in Phoenix. It happened early Saturday morning. The sheriff's office saying all five were given doses of Narcan before being rushed to a nearby hospital. Weeks earlier, a similar situation at the same facility. Two inmates also taken to the hospital, authorities believing it was drug related. Then in early April, seven inmates reportedly overdosed. The sheriff's office finding fentanyl and meth pills in the same area as those inmates. All of these incidents part of a growing problem taking over MCSO jails. But this is the problem that we see in our county every day. Sheriff Paul Penzone recently saying it's led to more deputies being trained to administer Narcan. And so far this year, it appears they will give more Narcan than any year before. Fentanyl seizures also reached record levels in 2022 and again are on pace to break that record this year. Smuggled in through batteries, bullet cartridges and face masks. However, the majority of drugs being smuggled in are through a person's body, which presents a constitutional challenge for deputies. We do a very comprehensive search of inmates when they come in, but we don't have the lawful authority to go into your personal space, into your body. Sheriff Penzone says they are doing more, thorough health screenings, more cell searches, and also adding more x-ray machines for their jails. And everyone coming into the jail system will go through some form of search to make sure that we're not contributing to the problem and violating the law. Penzone also calling on lawmakers to take further action against the drug crisis, hoping that will in turn reduce the number of overdoses and deaths they see in MCSO facilities. At least 95 people have died in MCSO custody since 2020, driven in part by the fentanyl crisis. However, data we obtained showed the number of suicides and homicides have also increased over the past three years. Jonathan. Let's hope they can find a solution to crack down on that soon. Chase, thank you.